hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. Transperineal biopsy has become an alternative option to transrectal biopsy for in-office prostate biopsy. The rates of adoption are steadily increasing as more data reveals comparable cancer detection, procedure duration, and cost. With rectal flora resistance and overall antibiotic resistance, it becomes imperative to discuss reducing antimicrobial use. In a previous study from our institution, we found that the transperineal approach can potentially decrease post-biopsy infection, urinary retention, and the possibility of cognitive fusion biopsy when compared to the transrectal biopsy. Furthermore, transperineal approach had similar rates of cancer diagnosis. In our protocol, patients are not provided with antibiotic prophylaxis or bowel regimen. In this video, we demonstrate our freehand technique for transperineal biopsy of the prostate with local anesthesia. In this picture, you can see the instruments used. The sample cups are labeled in the order of biopsy site. Note that lubrication is generously inserted in the condom prior to placement over the rectal ultrasound probe. After the patient is placed in dorsal lithotomy, a digital rectal exam is routinely performed before placement of the probe to assess the prostate. We measure the prostate size in the axial and sagittal view. Here we clamp the sliding carriage onto the probe. It is important to ensure it is aligned with a 12 o'clock position on the ultrasound. Proper alignment will allow the user to visualize the needle going in and out. Next, we mark the skin at the most lateral aspect of the prostate for needle entry. Superficial local anesthesia with 1% lidocaine without epinephrine is first applied. This is followed by deep tissue anesthesia, 15cc 1% lidocaine without epinephrine deep to pelvic floor muscles at the prostatic apex bilaterally. No posterior or perirectal block is needed. Special attention should be given to block the apical region. We now begin collecting our cores. 12 total biopsies are performed, 6 on each side with 2 anterior, 2 posterior lateral, and 2 posterior medial biopsies taken. Additional cores can be taken from the transitional zones if there are prior negative biopsies or if the patient is in active surveillance. When targeting the contralateral side of the prostate, the device needs to be removed from the right side and repositioned onto the previously marked left region.
In this video, we demonstrate our protocol and technique for transperineal prostate biopsy. We found that it is a safe and feasible alternative to transrectal biopsy with similar efficacy.